move on to another feature. And this one is about the improved um, support for brace initialization. So now when you're creating a new attribute, um, how we set up this uh, default uh, initializer kind will now depend on whether you're using C++11 or some older version of C++. So as you know, there is this preference under real-time development build transformation C++ called C++ code standard, which by default is C++11. Uh, this is what we recommend you to use, but in case you are uh, prevented from using that due to the compiler you're using, you can of course also use the older version. So let's first see what happens if we are uh, creating attributes with the C++11 code standard. So if I just create an, an attribute here, E of type int, and I don't set up any default value, uh, and we check in the C++ general tab what initializer kind were used, you see that now there is a difference compared to before. So this brace, uh, initializer kind is set to brace, uh, since this is, I think, uh, more recommended in C++11 rather than initializing using constructor initializer. Uh, so now if we put the default value here for this uh, attribute, you can see that the Proot Explorer also uses the brace uh, syntax here to show that this attribute is initialized to one. It's also possible to type this directly, if you like, already when you're creating the attribute. So if we create another attribute here, you can uh, type the default value here already when creating it in the Proto Explorer, and it will be automatically set up to default value two. Uh, you can al also use the old syntax that is still available. I mean, using an equal sign. So if we create another one, but use equal instead. Uh, and now we check how this was mapped to the model you see that it now uses the equal initializer kind. So that's the other, other way in C++11 how to initialize this attribute inline. So in case you would prefer the old way of uh, working, you can then you need to then switch this to constructor by just uh, using this drop down here. But I think in most cases th these should be uh, appropriate defaults. But of course we don't change automatically all existing attributes. So in case you have and probably you already have lots of attributes with a constructor as the initializer kind, then they will stay uh, just the way they are, even if you edit them here. Of course, unless you manually switch the initializer kind to something else. And uh, to show that we can switch to uh, using the older code standard to see how it works then. Uh, because then if we are creating a new attribute, we should get the old behavior. So if we take like this, uh, you see that now initializer kind is set to, to constructor, just like it was before. And if you then edit and model that you created in an older version of the tool with C++11, uh, you can still go in here and, and for example, change the default value to five uh, without affecting uh, this constructor initializer. So it will still be a constructor until you decide that you want to use something else and you use this drop down menu, for example, to switch to brace. Uh, 